Hello and welcome to another Strapi Cloud video. In this video, we're going to take a look how to set up an external email provider. Now, out of the box, Strapi does include an email provider that you could use, but you get a thousand emails that you could send out per month. Now, for most users, this is perfect, but if you have an email provider that you've been currently using or you'd like to set up a different one, in this video, we're going to see how. Now, in this video, I'm going to use SandGrid as an example. So let's take a look at the prerequisites that you need. Number one, you want to have a domain specific email. For instance, I have a website codingafter30.com. I went to Google Workspaces and set up an email which matches my domain name. So I have an email at paul at codingafter30.com. There's many other services that you can use, but I ended up using Workspace. Number two, you need to have your service. In my case, I'm using SandGrid. And it's very important that your email is verified before you start. And once your email is verified that you can use, we have to make sure that we create an API key that we could use with our provider. Next, you need to have a Strapi project running locally that we're going to make our changes and push to the cloud. Now, if you don't have your local project or the cloud project, I'm gonna walk you through this video of how to set that up. If you already have a Strapi application running locally and push to the Strapi cloud, you can skip to setting up our email provider section. I'll make sure to put a timestamp in the description below. Let's set up our local Strapi project. We could do so by running running npx create strapi app at latest and we're going to call our project email provider example and we're going to start it with our quick start flag click enter and it will install your project for you once your project finished building go ahead and create your first admin user once you enter your information click let's start here we are in our dashboard let's move on to our next step now let's commit our project to GitHub and push it to the cloud. Now, when our application initially started on our first run, it would have started in the root folder where you ran the npx create strapi app command. Make sure that you navigate into your strapi project first. Now let's go to GitHub and create a new repository. I'm going to call mine email provider example click create repository. Copy the code inside your Strapi project, paste the following code, and then let's run get add to add our files. You could see them by typing get status, fantastic. Now let's do get commit message, and we're gonna say initial commit, and let's push our changes to our repo by running git push up origin main. Perfect, once everything's done and we refresh the GitHub page, we could now see our project. We're now ready for our next step, which is to deploy our project to the cloud. Going to cloud.strapi.io slash login, we can log in with our GitHub account. Once you logged in, let's create our project by clicking create project button. Choose our plan and click next. Let's find our repo that we just created, email provider example, and click next. Follow through the rest of the steps by clicking next. Make sure the information you have provided is correct and click create. This is gonna start our project deployment process. We'll be back once it's finished. Once our deployment is complete, we could go and click the visit app button to see our application. I already created my admin user, but by navigating to slash admin, if you haven't already done so, you would have to create a new user, but I'm already logged in and you could see here our dashboard and you could navigate to settings, email plugin configuration to see the out of the box email settings provided by Strapi email provider. This includes being able to send a thousand emails per month. Now, if you need additional functionality or more flexibility or just have a service that you like to use, we're able to replace our Strapi email provider with the one that we want. So let's take a look how we can set up our SendGrid email provider in our application. We can go to market.strapi.io and under providers, we can find our SendGrid provider. Here we could see the steps to install it and the options that we have to provide. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna copy this command and in my terminal, let's go ahead and run it. This will go ahead and install our email provider. Once installed, let's open our project in our code editor. And within our code editor, under configs, we need to create a new file called plugins.js. Here we're going to provide our configuration that we're going to copy and paste from here. And now let's replace our default from and 
reply to with our env variables and let's call this email from and this one we're going to call email to now if you want to be able to run this email provider locally you can go ahead and set up your environmental variables here you could find those variables from your sendgrid account using your verified email and you can find your api under settings api keys once you entered your environmental variables you could test your project locally first run yarn build next run yarn develop log in into your local strapi instance once logged in under settings configurations you should now be able to see your sendgrid account information and you could see that we're using sendgrid account the last step is to push these changes into the cloud now before we could push these changes let's go ahead and set up those environmental variables first in your cloud strapi project navigate to your email provider example under settings go ahead and enter the variables you would need to provide your SendGrid API key, then provide your SendGrid email from, and finally your SendGrid email to, which in my case is the same. Click save to save your changes. Now inside our local project, let's stop the server. Let's do get status. Here you could see the changes that we made, installing our email SendGrid provider. Let's type get add to add those changes. Let's do get commit message, add it, send grid provider, and let's push these changes to our repo. This is gonna trigger a redeploy. So here's our application rebuilding. Once this is done, we're gonna test and see if our external email provider has been successfully installed. Now that our application is done, let's go ahead into our Strapi application. And if you refresh, you can see that you're now using your configuration from our plugins.js file. So now our Strapi provider is using SandGrid under the hood. So if I send the email, this is going to work correctly, which is pretty awesome. Now, if you want to learn more about sending emails programmatically, you can check out our documentation and I'll make sure to link this in the description below. But this shows you how you could use your email service to send out emails programmatically. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, join us on Discord because Monday through Friday, 1230 p.m. CST time, we have our open office hours where you could come in and chat with Derek and I and other members of our community about any questions that you may have. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.